Hello, welcome to The Repair Specialist, and I want to begin by saying a huge thank you for clicking through to this video and to all those that have subscribed. And the purpose of this video is to give a little better of an explanation than I did before on one of my previous videos on multigrade oil, where I explained about multigrade oils having a thicker viscosity as the engine gets hot. But this in itself sounds really confusing. How can an oil get thicker as it gets hotter? Because as we know, with any given oil, when an oil gets hot, it gets thinner. And I should have explained this a little better because I've had some responses, and rightly so, questioning how an oil can act thicker as it gets hotter. But with multigrade oils, it can indeed happen. So I'm going to explain that better now. And I shall be using a 5W30 grade for my example here, but the principles are the same for all types of multigrade oil. So let's take a closer look at these numbers. We've got the 5W and we've got the 30. And I shall quickly go over again what these mean, starting with the 5, and to do so I shall use a viscosity scale. And we'll add some numbers here for the scale, and as we can see, the 5 is here. And that's representing a thin viscosity of oil. It's on the thinner side. And so that means the lower the number, the thinner the viscosity. And if we move up the scale here, we're getting higher numbers now, we're getting thicker viscosities. So what this 5 is saying then is that this oil has a viscosity of 5. That's the base of the oil. That's what the oil actually is, a 5. And so moving on to the W, what the W stands for generally is winter or cold. And what the 5 and the W now means for this oil is that this oil does have a viscosity of 5, but when it's cold. And that's a good thing because we want the oil as runny as possible when we start the engine from a cold start in order to get all of that oil up to the components of the engine as quickly as possible for lubrication. And so now we know how this oil is behaving in the cold. It's behaving with a viscosity of five, quite runny. But there's another number here representing this oil. And this also says something about how this oil behaves, and that's the 30. And so what this number's saying is that this oil also acts like a viscosity of 30, which as we can see down here on the scale is a medium viscosity. But how can this oil possibly have a viscosity of 5 and a viscosity of 30? Well, this oil becomes the viscosity of 30 when the oil gets hot, so when the engine is at work in temperature. So this oil has special chemical ingredients that allows it to be a thin viscosity of 5 when cold so that we can put it into a cold engine and start the engine from cold start up and allow that oil to get to all those vital parts of the engine. And then as the engine gets hot, this 5 viscosity transforms into a 30 viscosity. And so why would it do that? Why would it need to do that? Well, to help explain this, we'll use the viscosity scale again in line with the temperature scale. Okay, so looking at our oil on these two scales together, and we can see that in the cold, it has a thin viscosity. But the thing is, if this oil went in the engine as a 5 cold, and then stayed as a 5, as if it was a single grade oil, whilst the engine warmed up to work in temperature, as we know about oils, when they get hotter, they get thinner, then what would happen is that this 5 would go even thinner than it already is it would go way too thin to supply sufficient lubrication for the engine. It would be so thin, in fact, that it would just wash away from the engine components and not provide that vital film of oil to coat the moving components. And we all know this could only result in engine damage. And the engine wouldn't really fare any better if we used a single grade 30 oil. And unlike the single grade 5, which would affect the engine when the engine's hot, the single grade 30 would affect the engine when the engine's cold. Because as we looked at before, a single grade 30 in the cold would have a medium type viscosity. And whilst this type of oil is okay for a small engine like that of a lawnmower, which is very much more basic in its design, and where a car engine relies on a complex network of oil pipes to deliver the oil long distance, requiring its oil to be thinner from a cold startup, as we've seen with the 5, these small type lawnmower engines that use a single grade 30 don't have these small complex type of intricacies when it comes to lubricating the engine. And so it employs more of a splashing system, and that's adequate enough to get that oil around the engine. But because of this, the oil can afford to be thicker from start up. Because as we know from cold, it has that medium viscosity. But as the engine starts to get hot and up to working temperature, of course, that's no longer got a medium viscosity. It starts to lose some viscosity and becomes much thinner. 
but this is still a 30 viscosity but now we're looking at the 30 in its hot state it's designed to go this runny when it's hot because it's this viscosity that the engine has been designed to run on at working temperature it's been engineered that way in fact the engine relies on the oil to go this thin for normal optimal running and so however thin a 30 goes remember this is still a 30 and this is the form a 30 takes in the heat and so it becomes of a perfect viscosity to coat them components of the engine and provide a film of oil for optimal lubrication and prevention of damage. And just like we have our single grade oil acting in this way, our multi grade oil also acts in this way because it's a 5W30. And now the 30 is working because it's hot, the 30 is activated. But it isn't activated like a cold 30, it's activated like a hot 30. And this means it has the same type of viscosity when it's hot as the single grade 30. So the two oils have the same viscosity at this temperature. They both take on this thinner viscosity that the heat has produced in them. And that's the important thing to remember here. They are the same in the heat. So in a nutshell, the 5W30 multigrade oil takes on the viscosity as a cold 5, when the engine's cold, and a hot 30 when the engine's hot. Those two main viscosities are the functionality of the multigrade oil. So that means it can't ever rightly be compared to a cold 30 because it was never meant to act like a cold 30. It's a cold 5 or a hot 30. It is really that simple. Although I'm sure there's some in-between viscosities generated from the two extremes between the 5 and the 30 as the engine goes from cold to warm to hot to even hotter. And so really it can't be said that this type of oil does not get thicker as it gets hotter because in this way it certainly does. I'm not saying the viscosity itself is getting any thicker from the 5 to the hot 30 because the exact difference between those two viscosities would have to be professionally measured using a viscometer which is something I personally of course have not actually done but what I'm saying is it transforms from acting like a 5 to acting like a 30. It was never designed to function like a hot 5 or a cold 30. So we can see from this scale just how dynamic the multigrade oil actually is. So next time you run a car up to working temperature in order to stop it and drain the oil and then when you do so the oil comes out really thin then remember what you now know about the multigrade oil. And so that now concludes this video and I want to thank you so much for watching. If you have gained anything from it then please do like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.